So one of the first principles of healthy eating for athletes uh, is adequacy. Adequacy means eating adequate amounts of all the essential vitamins and minerals. Now there are 14 essential vitamins and 15 essential minerals uh, that the USDA recommends that we all consume. Uh, that's a lot to keep a track of, so I don't recommend that you uh, track all your vitamins and minerals using an app. It's essentially impossible to get all of these in a single day. Um, and in fact, you don't need to get all of these vitamins and minerals in one day. In fact, you need to get these uh, over uh, days and weeks and sometimes months, depending on the vitamin and the mineral. So what are you going to do? What's the easiest way to uh, get adequacy in your diet? The simplest way to get adequacy in your diet is to choose foods that have low energy density but high nutrient content. And we all know what those are. Those are fruits and vegetables and whole grain products. These have low energy density, but they have lots of vitamins and minerals. Here, low energy density, lots and lots of vitamins and minerals. On the other hand, foods with high energy density, things like cheese and burgers and pizza and donuts and so forth, um, they don't contain uh, the vitamins and minerals you need, and so these are poorer choices. You'll need less of these in your diet, and instead focus your diet on uh, low energy density foods. So when we're talking about the recommended dietary intake for all the vitamins and minerals, what does that mean exactly? And, and this graph, I hope, shows you what a recommended dietary intake is. It's set by the USDA uh, from research, uh, and many, many studies that look into each one of these uh, vitamins and uh, minerals to understand two things. First, they need to, we need to understand is the uh, amount that is too little, uh, where a deficiency in a vitamin or a mineral may occur, and that will lead to uh, disease or certainly a loss of performance for an athlete. Uh, on the other side, many vitamins and minerals also have an upper limit um, at which if you consume too much of that vitamin or mineral, uh, you can become sick. Um, this is something to keep in mind with supplements. It's not wise to take too many supplements. If you take too many supplements, you run the risk of losing performance through basically overdosing with vitamins and minerals. So what we're looking for is this Goldilocks zone, uh, somewhere in the middle, where you're getting enough, uh, but not too much, of the vitamins and minerals you need to perform at your best. This is what the recommended dietary intake is. In fact, the USDA's recommended dietary intake is the amount of vitamin or mineral that is sufficient for 98% of the population um, Athletes sometimes have higher re uh, requirements than um, the USDA recommendations, and where that happens, I will point that out to you. Uh, and here is what the uh, USDA website, the DRI calculator, here's the result the DRI calculator gives you for vitamins, um, if you're interested in taking a look at that. And here is the USDA calculator for minerals. You can see that you need quite a lot of calcium in your, in your diet, but there's not a lot of room between the amount of calcium you need in your diet and taking too much calcium into your diet, for example. And you'll see that all the way down this list, that there's recommended dietary intakes and upper limits, uh, beyond which you may become sick, and certainly beyond which you will lose performance. So, should you take supplements? My suggestion is that unless a doctor recommends that you take a supplement, I would not take supplements. They are not, uh, they are not regulated by FDA in the same way that medications are regulated, uh, and they often contain illegal sub substances and the wrong dose. Um, there are one or two exceptions to this, uh, to this though. 